What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hello. And our actual lawyer, Bridge. Let's go, 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 go. If you like this show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team. And uh, if you want to support us, you can do so on patreon.com slash save data team. Just like the wonderful folks you're about to hear, shout it out now. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons! Vergabon, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Cud, Dave, Shadow, Navi, and Sofino, HSM, Earn, Suna, Yama, Antelester, Kevin, Asian, and Alucha! Shout out to Chico Bell, A73, don't forget Nicole, the Mystic Woody! Dessert Boy Man! Jad Wap, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat. Alex, Forensic Back, Fulfilla, Archaeopter, Rigadi, and Sabilla. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Hey, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, hey, uh, just shout out. If you want to yeah. also maybe have your name added to that, go to patreon.com slash save data team and... Uh, that's that's only for folks at the ten dollar level and above, but uh, we appreciate your support, no matter how much you can give. Uh, <laughs> the yeah. chat is somewhat divided. There are some people saying that sucked. <laughs> 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 that hurts my feelings. I, I've worked hard on that one, y'all. Folks, let's get back into the video game. So, random aside, before we start, though. Oh, sure. I found my scoring. I found my score from when I took the bar exam. Oh, yeah? Like, per my per only, yeah, like mark, my, right? my examination score report. Yeah, 100 out of 100. A plus plus. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> guess what's... So, the essay questions are scored on a scale of 1 to 7, with 1 being okay. bad and 7 being good. Okay. Interesting uh, scale, sure. I mean, it's, it's all weighted and adjusted to make it when it all comes together and, you know, at least makes somewhat sense. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it's weird. And I completely had forgotten this over the last two and a half over the last like two years. Um, mm -hmm. I fucking got a one on my legal ethics essay question. Yo, so I guess I, so super I guess, unethical. So I guess I don't know how ethics work. Wow. <laughs> Did they say, I mean, like, what happened? Like, why you got a one? No, I, I, no, I'm not going to fucking... I don't, I don't even know if they, like... No, they don't keep fucking comments or shit or anything. Damn. I don't even remember what the question was. All I know is, apparently, I got a one on my fucking legal ethics question. <laughs> Embarrassing. Pr Pridge was, Pr because Pridge just wrote down give weed to the first no, but, and, but, a, and a cab but that's 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 actually the 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 that's that's the golf answer because you're a lawyer if you get most unethical it's better points right yeah you're like you're the coolest lawyer <laughs> hey at the end of the day i was in the 68th percentile and i passed so there you go hell yeah, yeah. I, I have like to I'm... change the, have to change the name of the uh the series to Ace Attorney with an unethical lawyer. Ace Attorney with a lawyer who didn't do too good on his on his ethics essay question. <laughs> yeah. Nor his there evidence one, which is wild because I was really good at evidence. I don't know how I fucked that one up too. Mm-hmm. Now just make a new now just make a new theme with a recorder playing the pursuit theme, and then it's Pridge as the lawyer who didn't do so good on his essay. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to play the video game. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, we just got psych locks for her, and there's no way we can answer, we can do them right now, right? Correct. That's where we ended off. Yeah, okay. we didn't test it, but I, I honestly don't want to There's four psych locks, and there's no way we have yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what it takes. It's, I think it was about like what her injury was about or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah cause, cause she was like, I died. And we're like, sorry? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> She's talking about how she was dead. You want to run that by me one more time? <laughs> Which is rough. Also, everybody, I'm not feeling as hot as I could be, so the voices might not be as on point as they usually are. Everybody, yeah. send, give send, me a little grace Send today. some good vibes to Wes. He's dealing with the cold right now. <clears throat> uh, okay. There he is. 
Old CD's back feeding the pigeons again. There, take this, and this, and get out of my park! <laughs> like I thought, he's really mad. I can never tell if he's feeding the pigeons or he hates them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even think he knows. It's very hard. He has mixed mo emotions about pigeons. Mm -hmm. It's rough. Come on, Maya. Just keep your head down and let's sneak away while we still can. What? Why? Hello, old man. <laughs> what are you doing, Maya? Huh? Purr. Hey, he just turned his back on us. I'm not surprised. I bet I bet I really hurt his pride in the court this morning. Hey, Mr. Kudo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we really need to talk to you, all right? Up with the demons! In with good fortune! Ow! 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 Seeds. Shell splinters. Painful. I always knew you were a demon, Maya. Phoenix, is this the time? <laughs> is this the time? Since I saw you, ever since I saw you speaking in backwards tongues and your head do a complete 360, 180, <laughs> I'll just be honest, the things you do to my bathroom cannot be done by a human. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, I guess we're going to talk to him now. <laughs> hey, so how do you feel about when I embarrassed you very much publicly? How do you feel about getting a creepy, fucking perverted old man? Um, I'm sorry about what happened in the court earlier today. <laughs> Everyone will be talking about me behind my back now. A dirty old man who is so busy looking at the servant girl's backside. He can't remember her face. A filthy, depraved animal. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that is kind of what we're going. That is kind of what we, uh, the conclusion we came to. Like, wow, see, I wasn't sure if it read, but now that you're saying it out loud, I'm really glad that everybody got that. That everyone acknowledges, yeah. That kind of seems yeah. to be the case. I thought I was a little vague at part, but <laughs> the fact that it, it, it translated, it really means a lot. Thank you. Not at all! Everyone thinks you're a totally normal guy. <laughs> Are you listening to me, boy? I don't care what you say. I saw that waitress put it in. No, you Freezing? didn't. Well, you saw a waitress put it in, just not Maggie. He put some white powder into the young lad's Javachino. We hear you. And another thing. The young layabout was wearing an earpiece on the same side as the lens of his broken spectacles. We're really sorry. So I made a little mistake about the face. So what? You know what I saw? I tell you! I tell you! I tell you! Okay, okay! Take it easy, please, Mr. Kudo. Don't tell me to take it easy, you spiky-haired brat! Take this! Take this! Take this! Um, you said you were a craftsman, right? <laughs> The modern world casts honest craftsmen like me aside in droves. Surely it's not that. I come from a long line of craftsmen, right back to the time of the shoguns. You hear me? I didn't become an embroiderer, I was born one. Actually, I'm kind of in the same situation myself. I. I. Wanted to stick my fingers up that rippling old judge's nose. Man, when this when this sentence was like being printed yeah, off, I was like, "Where started, the fuck is this scared. going?" <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I got I got a little nervous there, guys. Yeah, I was like, "Is this game gonna get canceled Ooh. itself?" Is this Ooh. game gonna go really badly? <laughs> and scream right down his ear hole, objection. Oh, so did you want to become a lawyer when you were young? Listen, we can't go into my backstory for a third time. I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood, that's all. I got a tsunami of frustration inside and it's ready to burst out. If 
we, if we let him start rambling now, he might never shut up. What should I do? <laughs> I mean, it sucks. I kind of want to suck it up just because I want to hear him say funny things. Well, hey, you're the one who gets to voice it, so. <laughs> Fine. I guess I better let him talk. So, there's not much call for craftsmen these days, huh? Of course not, you idiot! All I'm good for nowadays is running errands. Errands? You finish those errands? Errands, <laughs> errands, errands, errands? Everyone takes advantage of the elderly. Buy some bread, Gramps. Take the dog for a walk, Granddad. Feed the pigeons, old man. What am I, some sort of two-bit community handyman? Uh, well... Buy some bread, now that I can understand. What's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? Why don't people say what they mean? Get lost! That's what they're trying to say. Oh yes, I'm just an inconvenience, you see. At home, at that, at that home, at that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? Uh, I'm sure you don't. Wait a minute. What did he just say? At home and at that restaurant? <laughs> I was going to say, at that home, he's in a home? <laughs> Hold up. By restaurant? Are you talking about Trey Bien? Are you what there? other restaurant has... Were you, were you there at the time of the murder? Phoenix is... Oh. Wait. Yeah. Did you get asked to run an errand there too? Yes, I did. The very day that young brat was poisoned. What? Well, that's, again, how did this okay. never hey, I guess come we up? Had to... How did this never come up? This seems like an incredibly important thing to mention. I'd argue that it is, yeah. Uh, also, folks are saying Magnus. Yeah, I think something spooked him. I didn't hear anything, but he is uh, he is begging for the lap treatment, so. Oh, good man. Look at that. Let's hear about the errand. Errand? So, on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? I asked, boy. Because I'll tell you what I was asked to do. All of a sudden, that young lad slumped over the table. The servant girl collapsed. And I broke that vase. It all happened so fast I was uh, in a bit of a daze, you see. And the owner shouted over to me. Excusez-moi, you call la police. Call him yourself. I should have said back, but I didn't think of it. At, but I didn't think of it. But I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> so you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> so, so did you end up calling the police? Like I said, I was in a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? Why would you ask that <laughs> question, Phoenix? Well, I look like I'd have one of those newfangled thingamajigs. I went out looking for a pay phone, of course. You went looking for one? I couldn't find one right away, you know. Hunted around for five minutes or so. Five minutes? So, for five minutes after the incident happened... Yes, sir. -y. The owner was at Trey Bien all by himself. With how did, no supervision. How did this not get... Why didn't you mention this in your in the court this morning? Well, I would have if you'd given me the chance. That's not. Yet all, but you all bullied me out of the courtroom. And I'd do it again. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. Wait, wait a minute. If that's the case, there's more. I got more to say. Oh yes, I remember something else. And then you told us about how you how you pissed your pants and knocked over a vase. <laughs> Instead of telling us this extremely important information. <laughs> Aleph, escort the witness out of the courtroom. It's not my fault. You're the ones to blame. You could have at least told us before we got to court. 
really that important that Mr. Kudo was the one who called the police? What's important is the unaccounted time before the police arrived. The victim was dead, and Maggie was unconscious. Which leaves that... I... Man, game, why you gotta do that? Which yeah. leaves that man alone in the restaurant. Mr. Kudo might have been chased out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? Maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. <coughs> ah. <clears throat> oh, sure. You go ahead and say I was in the way as usual. I suppose I should have been getting myself covered in pigeon poop instead. Hmm? What the fuck are you talking about, old man? What? We need to get more details about what exactly happened. From Maggie and from Mr. Armstrong. And from the pigeons. That was pretty... That's pretty good. Uh, new information. Uh, before we go to the kitchen, let hey, me... Hey, bud. How you doing? Catch up with a few... <laughs> Hi, hey, Gumshi. Uh, let me catch up yeah, with yeah, a few go ahead and catch it. Go ahead and catch up with the chat. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Valdoodle shoot a bit saying check the art for stream channel everyone god damn it i'm sure it's already there uh forensic back to your 15 bit saying how dare people ask me to call the police when people have died <laughs> right with this canon just resub for five months and Valdoodle shoot a bit saying so it's canon that victor kudo is the future zach that is cursed by mike beacons to forget his memories yeah no i'd rather him be my grandpa than that that sucks so much worse now nah, yeah we're not gonna we're not doing zach dirty like that. Come on, guys. Listen, you can make fun of my dead grandpa all you want, but you can't make fun of me, okay? <laughs> I'll I'll stand by that. <laughs> uh, kitchen. Itchy. <laughs> I ate it. Looks like Mr. Armstrong's out again. But. The place is open for business. You can't have an open restaurant without a chef. Hey, it's not my fault, Nick. Don't take it out on me. Maya, you used to work here for all of an afternoon. Only a yeah, I didn't even fill out a W-2. <laughs> Only a couple minutes after the incident happened, Mr. Kudo left the scene, leaving Mr. Armstrong here alone. Ugh. Missing when we need to talk to him the most. Maybe he's trying to avoid us on purpose. An interesting theory. The game theory. I was like, is anybody going to say game theory? Because yeah, if not, that's, like, that's on you guys. If not, like that's huge. That's huge <laughs> character growth for us. <laughs> Well, fuck, I thought we were going to at least be able to talk to Maggie. Oh, uh, okay. This is one of the things you have to do that I remember. You have to show something to Gumshoe. Oh, um, okay. Uh, let's go back to Trash Bean. Show. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of new things. Repair bill, the paper show badge. The MC, maybe show the MC Bomber thing to him. Okay. No, no I, it might be, it might be Glenn Eld's profile. Okay. It's it's like a weird thing. No, yeah, it would be really random because that hasn't been changed since we talked about him in court. <laughs> Oops. Glenneth. This guy Glenneth. was a real programming genius. They called him the walking computer at the place where he worked. But he was well liked. What happens when he crashes? What happens they when he crashes, though? Does he just stop moving all of a sudden? They called him Mr. Robot. Uh, <laughs> he Sorry, wasn't... Grammy Malik. <laughs> I'm a fan of green tea. I'm a fan of handwritten letters by my mom. I'm a fan. Of... Does anybody know? Nobody knows what I'm talking about. The Rami Malik. I'm a fan thing. It's Google. Oh, it. no way. I, I mean, I think I've heard of that. It's it's pretty cringe, but very funny. Uh, uh, he wasn't a computer, Maya. Anyway, there's nothing between Maggie and the victim. Yeah, that's what we found out yesterday, too. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, 
Don't you have any information that's a bit more fun? <laughs> what? Fun? I, uh... Oh, I know! So, have you paid a visit to where Elg worked yet? Might as well. Glen Elg knew how to juggle, pal. Ooh. <laughs> His workplace? Where's that? Computer firm called Blue Screens Inc. Or still like something still like a that. good name. It's really good. Sounds like a real stable company. This could be fun, Nick. Let's go. Computers aren't really my thing, Maya. It'll be fine. I know all about that high tech stuff. I wonder about that. <laughs> it's just around the corner from this joint. You should take a look. A computer firm called Blue Screens Inc., huh? Oh, I'm going to head back to the precinct now. We've got a big meeting starting in a bit. About Maggie's case, you mean? No, that's pretty much wrapped up now. There's another big case going down at the moment, so she's been pushed aside. Okay. Well, see you later then. Bye! <laughs> Oodles. Well, no, nope. yeah, coming back. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you you'd better get going, detective, or you'll be late. <laughs> Actually, I uh, I kind of kind of got a favor to ask. It's a big one. A favor? Yeah, it's for um, Maggie. Actually, I was kind of hoping to give this to her for me. Wow, rice and cocktail wiener. Yeah, that's what Yummy. it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. I mean, listen, he's it's no a lunchbox. He's no cough up. I queen. got a burly so I could make it. It's cute though. Yeah, he made, he gave her rice and weenies. <laughs> I've been real worried about it. She looked like she would lost a lot of weight. Detective Gumshoe. How many weenies are? How many weenies are in here? There's not a person on earth who could eat this much meat. <laughs> what? I don't know, man. I Joey Chestnut. I yeah. love weenies. I can't get enough of their tender juiciness. What? Why? Yeah. Why was this line written this way? <laughs> I yep. love weenies. Was Shutakumi given fucking stock options for Nathan's hot dogs while writing this or some shit? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What is this line? <laughs> yep. Gumshoe loves weenies. Everybody. Yeah, Joey, Joey Chestnut going fucking wild. So will you give it to her? It took me ages to make, so please say you will, pal. I can't exactly say no, can I? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Maybe I'll eat it myself if I get hungry. Don't forget, okay? I'm counting on you to give that to Maggie. He's finally gone. Ugh. This guy, am I right? Let's wow, see what wow. it says about this Neo. <laughs> Tenderly handmade lunchbox fills the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. <laughs> plenty of weenies. <laughs> Man. I'm assuming. Plenty of weenies. I'm assuming that Japanese has a similar funny name for hot dogs. Because they are very phallic. I feel like every language has to have yeah. like, oh, wieners, huh? <laughs> uh, wiener? Anybody want a wiener? <laughs> uh, Shit. I guess. Well, we can go to blue screens, too. What, what are you thinking, Pritch? Um, I mean, let's drop out of the detention center. See if we can give you these You don't weenies. want the weenies to get cold? Yeah, I don't want the weenies to get cold. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I, and and I wanna... didn't think they were. I actually didn't even think they were gonna let us do this yet. But they were just gonna tell us we had to go to blue screens. Yeah, me too. We need to. We need to make sure that Maggie's stomach is full of weenies. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wright. Uh, hello, Maggie. So they finished up questioning you. Wasn't it just unbelievable in court today, sir? I'm gonna stay up all night and blog about everything that happened. <laughs> oh no, you're wait, right. No. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Several things. First off, do they let you blog from prison? Also, do you they have let blog? you blog about prison while in prison? Maggie, are you a are you a fucking Tumblr girl? 
Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Maggie, do you have... Do Maggie, you need to ask that question? Maggie, do you have a shit ton of posts about how the Onceler makes your ovaries quiver or some shit like that? Like... <laughs> that's listen that's a whole tumblr thing chat will prove me right in like two seconds all right fair enough it's a very wow. listen tumblr tumblr yeah exactly it's a third early 2000s moment there we go yeah oh my god <laughs> once the love is real thank you it's a whole yeah. thing oh my god it's a whole god. thing i watched a video i say on my I'm gonna write about this on my blog. The bird is the word. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Aren't you scared? It was pretty touch and go in there. Yeah, but you totally nailed that old man. Well, he was all well, over the place. Let's not go around saying it like that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was all over the place with that testimony. He's not the only one. Huh? What do you mean? Everyone else's testimonies don't match up either. Not with what I remember of the incident, anyway. Is it possible she's the one misremembering things? Hey, uh, well, should we talk? Or should we just- we gotta give the hot dogs first. Yeah. Oh, of course. You Sorry, the weenies. I was gonna say, Maggie's gonna be more coherent with weenies in her belly. <laughs> God, I hate that. I think everyone does a little bit better when they're full of weenies. God, yeah. this is the worst. <laughs> Back. I All I know Back. is that when I'm full of weenies, I'm happy. Back. Yeah. Weenies. Uh. Become, become weenies, Zach. <laughs> Embrace weenie. Oh, yeah, I've got something you're going to love. Weenies! <laughs> weenies! <laughs> really? What is it? I hope it's not weenies. I hate weenies. A lunchbox. Just for you. Here. Wow! A lunchbox? Weenies, too! <laughs> I can't believe it! Thank you, sir! D did you make this just for me, Mr. Wright? Nah, it was Detective Gumshoe. Who else would make such a nice lunchbox for you? Nice is doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe? He's really worried about you. Looks like he put a lot of effort into making this, too. I can't accept it. Oh! <laughs> Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Hey, come oh. on, Maggie. Aww. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Weenies, Maggie. It's but weenies. The, the rules are the rules. They'll lock you up if you break them. Well, you're already locked. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, <laughs> somehow when an ex-cop turned waitress says that, it seems a whole lot scarier. Does it? Uh, that's a weird... Yeah. I don't know. And anyway... I hate weenies. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! Oh. How could she say that? <laughs> but the we weenies didn't hurt nobody. <laughs> Val Doodles in the chat says, Our man just got weenie blocked. <laughs> 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 uh, That's very good. Worst fight that can ever fall, man. Mm -hmm. Getting weenie blocked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she don't mean it, right? <laughs> she don't she don't not like weenies, right? <laughs> I don't know about nothing, none of that, boy, but no sane person I know doesn't like weenies. It is also doubly funny that a man named Dick gave her weenies. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, really? It's all yours, Maya. You can enjoy it with Mr. Wright. But... She's right. It's better than letting it go to waste. Yeah, fuck Gumshoe, man. Say, I guess we'll <laughs> just. Yeah. I guess we'll just have we'll to just... eat Gumshoe's weenies. <laughs> yeah, eat eat the weenies right in front of her. <laughs> Do it. Show her what she's missing out when she's not this having these weenies. This particular weenie is extra big and juicy. All right, Maya, speed eating contest. Let's go. <laughs> Maggie, you you, you 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 can time us. <laughs> But, I guess so. Oh, shit! They just, they straight uh, up did at, it! They look straight at her, up she's did like, it! 
She's like, oh man, I want those weenies, but I can't see. Now that I think about it, I really could have gone for some weenies. That's actually, it feels terrible that they actually ate them in front of her. <laughs> well, how was it? That hit the spot. I love weenies. <laughs> oh, we got him, boys. Oh. Uh, everybody clip that clip that please phoenix right canonical weenie lover <laughs> <laughs> oh good i'm glad i gave it to you then sir <laughs> all right let's talk about serious things actually now <laughs> wait a minute earlier you said you loved weenies but now you say you don't like them objection <laughs> Maggie, you know how you said that everyone else provided testimony that didn't match up with what you remembered? Yep. There are just so many things that don't seem to add up. The biggest contradiction is the other guy I saw at the victim's table. He was the one who slipped something into the victim's coffee. I'm sure it was him. But didn't Mr. Kudo testify earlier today that it was the waitress that put some white powder in the coffee cup? So you really think it was this disappearing man that did it? Well, he's not the only thing that disappeared. The CD vanished as well. You know, you know, the CD with the writing on it. You mean this CD? Oh yeah, the MC Screwdriver album, right? It was MC Bomber, Maya. That joke is at three at best. The name is scrawled on the <laughs> sports paper as well. They never did find that CD at the crime scene, sir. Or the victim's medication. That's gone missing, too. Out. Ouch, my head. This is getting way too complicated for me. All those weenies I it's interrupted almost, into my head. It's almost like I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Mine's got weenie-itis. Oh, no. <laughs> Too many weenies. My brain, it's being corrupted by weenies. <laughs> I hate this. You you said that when you passed out. You said you passed out when the victim, Glenn Elk, collapsed, right? Yes. It's so embarrassing. I mean, I used to be a cop. <laughs> when I came to, the restaurant was buzzing with police. Before I knew what was going on, they arrested me, sir. So I understood why, though, because it's standard procedure to always arrest the closest person to the deceased. That's <laughs> how Japan appointed <laughs> functions. I remember that from when I was up in the police. <laughs> I remember from the first time I got arrested. <laughs> so, between the time the victim collapsed and the time the police arrived on the scene, you have no idea what went on at Trebien? No. No idea at all. Why? Is it important, Mr. Wright? Nah, probably nothing. The other witness, the old man from the park, was pretty much chased out of the picture. Chased out of the picture? What do you mean? Old well, CD wasn't inside the restaurant because he was told to go call the police. Exactly. And you, Maggie, were unconscious. That means Mr. Armstrong was alone in the restaurant for a brief period of time. Oh, you don't think Mr. Armstrong set me up, do you? When you consider the facts, it's hard to imagine that Mr. Armstrong isn't involved in this at all. <sighs> it's like the master biting the paw of the dog that it feeds. <laughs> the reverse of... That's pretty, that's pretty that's, I like that. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Mr. Wright? Well... The old man said as much when we spoke with him earlier. I don't know. Things that man says don't add up for some reason, sir. Maggie looks like she's trying to figure something out. We'd better find out exactly what happened to the old man on that day. Uh... Well, all right, then. No. We probably can't. Oh, do you want to present her the MC Bomber? Oh, see yeah. That's yeah, it! Say, have we done that yet? 
Nope. Well, uh, but I'm incarcerated now. I don't pick up much information in here. All I can do to help you out now is in the menu. Trade me in. <laughs> hey, come on, Maggie. Don't let your spirits fall. Ooh, what happens if we present her the food? What? It, the food's gone. Yeah, we ate it. That's right, we, we ate, ate it. it. Disappeared. We ate it. Uh, I ate it. I ate it. Well, wow, okay. What other evidence do we have? Uh... We got the ape. No, we still have we still have the Trey Bien food, don't we? Oh, the Trey. Oh, the Trey food. Bien food. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Sorry. She had anything to say about this. Sorry, Pridge, We no. have weenies on the brain. No, thought she did. Yeah, I was gonna say. All I was thinking about, about was weenies. Menu. She has something funny about the menu of Trey Bien. Smooth brain, only wink, oh, only weenies. Smooth brain, only weenies. I do. I do we wonder. Have weenie brain. <laughs> I do wonder if she says anything about her shitty ass apron. Oh, she does. Oh, oh nice. Good call. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's from when I was carrying a customer's breakfast over, then, over to them. The, the ketchup, ketchup splotch, splotch oh. you mean? My whole face was fire engine red thanks to that stuff. But you spilled the ketchup on your apron, didn't you? I don't see how... <laughs> the ketchup-covered omelet went flying and hit the customer in the face. Oh, shit. Ooh, talk about a tomato red face. Makes me wish I could have seen it myself. What? Yeah, I guess. It was kind of a sight to behold. Alright. Uh... You just have to look for a person with egg on their face. <laughs> we'll go to, uh... <clears throat> blue screens. What's going on here? It's the future. <laughs> wow! This place is so high-tech! You can almost smell the electricity in the air. It is a computer firm, Maya. They can't work without electricity, you know. <laughs> what? Who are you? Oh, yeah. Ah. I forgot about yeah. this character. Remember it's this a random Yeah, it's a vocaloid. It's Hatsune Miku. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, hello. I'm sorry. Access is restricted to authorized personnel only. This is a computer programming laboratory. There are far too many trade secrets that could be leaked. Wow! What secrets? Everything you see here is classified. No information can leave this building. I'd love it if she just like started spouting off like Bush did 9-11. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> Gara did 9-11. <laughs> Gara, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Understood. Who is this woman? She's like a robot from some kind of whacked educational show. They actually said educational. Educational. They actually said educational. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> My name is Lisa Basil. So Onion Prince in the chat says, "Don't talk about the Vitamin Square massacre." That's a really good joke, actually. Oh, so everybody's <laughs> so everybody's name is a palindrome that works for. Yo, yeah, everyone wow, that works for this company it is. is. That's fun. What a weird hiring criteria. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they have. They you, only find people who have palindromes. For they're like, they're like, can we see your resume? And you're like, I haven't updated it for a while. Don't worry, we just need the first line. I mean, <laughs> I don't think that runs afoul of any hiring laws. It's not discrimination based on a protected <laughs> characteristic. So yeah, your I, name. I don't is think it's a violation right? of you know the Equal Employment Opportunity Act. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's weird. <laughs> The Philadelphia 300 bit saying our office has also employed experts, including Nora Barron, Roger Greger, Ellen O'Neill, and Marianne Narium. <laughs> but Phil, <laughs> you pulled up those really fast. Uh, I yeah, don't know if you had really that ready, good. but that was impressive. <laughs> uh, and John Penguin says tribute time, like the other employees. Oh, yeah, Lisa's, Lisa Basil's name is a palindrome in all language versions. In addition, her English. Given name also may be a reference to Apple Lisa, an early personal computer. Huh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty good. That'd be a good, that'd be a good poll. All right. Good, clever, hidden meaning. I'm the company's writers. director. Director? She's human? She seems more like a ghost in a shell. Oh! Hey! Anime reference! <laughs> Thank you.
Wow, I can't believe they did it. They fucking did it. Yo, I loved I loved when Scarlett Johansson played uh, Lisa She's Basil. She seems like a ghost in the shell. I wonder if she could stand alone in a complex. <laughs> Second gig or whatever the fucking full name is. <laughs> That's really good. And that thing over her eye. Isn't that the same device as Glenn Elg's? That's a DMH, right? A dick my huff? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> nice try, but it's the other way around, Maya. It's a huff my dick. <laughs> All of my programmers here at Blue Screens Inc. are supplied with HMDs. Huff my dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and do you write programs? Then do you write programs too? No, I just enjoy wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> I just love huffing dick. <laughs> <laughs> They are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind huffing dick. <laughs> no. Uh, also, genuinely, I do like her character design quite a bit. The the like light up thing is pretty cool. I mean, it works. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's such a far extreme of like she's a tech person, huh? Right. Like this, even this room feels so ridiculously futuristic for mm. a game that's what taking place in what the, the mid two thousand tens or something. Yeah. Uh, tell us about your company. So, what exactly is this firm's business? I will try to simplify it so that you can understand. We make we computers analyze. go burr. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! We analyze the data management systems required by certain branches of industry and deliver optimum operating system and source level components. Huh? You lost me on the corner of analyze and management. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They analyze stuff. You got that much, right? The software we produce is distributed on CDs. CDs? Well, you guys yes. are going to go out of CDs business. CDs nuts. <laughs> Real oh shit! Got her. <laughs> <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> Addy, as they say. Yes, compact disc, digital optical, digital optical storage media. Of course, CDs are used for software as well as music. Yes, Phoenix. In the year of our Lord 2018, you should fucking know this by now. <laughs> It is a small firm, but all of my employees are first-class programmers. Well, <laughs> my firm is pretty large, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's ask one of them what they are doing. <laughs> what? Oh, no. This. Excuse me. What are you working on right now? I'm researching the oh, uh, logical access to share global variables. Obviously, programming structure influences responsible time and performance, so the code dependence of global variables and memory overheads is very important to the success of the company. Well, you get the idea. This is the sort of thing we are involved in. Did you good people follow all of that? Yeah. Your blank smile just said otherwise, Maya. You know about what happened, right, Miss Basil? Basil? How are we you pronouncing your name? Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> you so, mean about Glenn being poisoned? Yes, I know. It's terrible. Can you tell us anything that might be helpful? I don't think so. A police officer was here earlier, too. But I couldn't tell him anything either, because... The waitress who committed the crime has nothing to do with Blue Screens Incorporated. Oh. How about Mr. Elg's desk? Have you cleared it out already? No, not yet. It's this one right in front of you. Oh, the only one that has any personality to it whatsoever? Okay, yeah. If there's anything that might be useful to you, you are welcome to take it. That also seems like... Oh, sweet, we can steal shit? Yeah. Even though this place has a bunch of... <laughs> you just told us everything here is classified? I guess there might be a clue here somewhere. Okay, we're just gonna look through you really quick. Uh, oh, does he have a sleeping bag under the bed? Is there under the desk? Is that what that's supposed to be? I mean, I guess. That's a bummer. What's spilled all over the floor? Yeah. A lottery ticket, a 
Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow, look at this mess. Looks like they're all betting tickets. Looks like they're all betting tickets. Kind of, what kind of betting tickets? For betting on which horse. Betting, Maya. Yeah, what? For betting on which horse will win any given race. They're horse racing tickets, if you will. Oh, wow. These drawers are stuffed full of these. Looks like they're all losing tickets, though. How would you know that? <laughs> this many tickets would get you, what, a buck down at the recycling center? You're hopeless, Nick. You know that? What the fuck is that coming from? Oh, I'm just taking them oh, as no, evidence, I think, Maya. I think Phoenix said, I think Phoenix said the first line. Oh. That was my bad. Oops. Whoa, look at this desk, Nick. What a mess. Looks pretty average to me. You can't get any work done with everything all over the place like this. You think? Real whiz kids can work under any condition, you know? <laughs> Just trying to hint that I should tidy my desk more. I'll clean up my desk when Maya stops shitting in the- uh, when stops asking silly questions. No hurry, <laughs> then. Hey, it's calendar. What about it? If this is another hint about tidying, you can forget it. Someone's marked December 3rd in red pen. December 3rd? That's the day Mr. Elg was murdered! Is there anything else? Yeah, um, it says, meet with the tiger. The tiger? Well, that seems, I mean, pretty convenient. Uh, I wonder if there's any characters who are, uh, Name really the tiger? closely related to tigers. I wonder if this, this is case. different enough that it's not going to give me the same option. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the guy. He's really pounding that keyboard, isn't he? Nice. Wow. I bet that's where the pro and programmer comes from, huh? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be resting on my laurels. Gotta expand my skill set and all that. Yeah, I'm just grammar right now. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I could become old CD's apprentice. Um, and what about your spirit medium? That was the whole. That whole dialogue was very weird. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything else to look at. What has he got a fucking? What is this called? I think it's an oxygen. Ace? Oh, it... AK racer. Uh, gamer chair. Oh, yeah, he's got a ga gamer chair. He's got a hashtag gamer chair. Oh, uh, people were saying too to present something that has nothing to do with anything to her because apparently there's a funny line. I imagine the lunch will work. Okay. Um, would you mind taking a look at this? I'm sorry. That data is super admin restricted desktop access password protected. What is that? Spar Sparta? Super admin restricted desktop access password protected? What? This is Matt. No. This is wow. No, Maya. This is Sparta. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! <laughs> that I'm was. Uh, here's the That's thing. Good. Like, that I'm was. I am good dead, y'all. This, like. It was a bad setup to a good joke, but, like, the way they had to set that up is so, like. Eh. She won't tell us unless we say the right code word. What? Code word? Hmm. Sesame! If it's not Sesame, then it must be my her mother's maiden name. That's how it always is. There's no point in having a password if it's always the same thing, Maya. Uh -oh. I guess she just doesn't I'm want to talk about password passwords wrong, then. Yeah. Oh, guys. Maybe we should focus on asking about Glenn Elk. What do you say? I think we've got everything here. Yeah, present Glenn's profile to her. Um, about Mr. Elg. He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. But he did suffer from one or two bugs in his personality. Oh? Like what? He was a bit of a loser. Whoa! Perhaps wow, that would be the dead, best way Lisa. to describe what it. What the fuck, Lisa? Wow. Lisa, he's dead. Wow. 
Also, if my boss ever called me a loser, I'd fucking kill them. Are you kidding also, me? Also, if you're a genius programmer, you're probably not a loser. What the fuck? That's wow. so wild. Damn. I have I have to imagine Glenn tried asking her how out several times. I get yeah. That's, that's... I, you know, and that's in that case, maybe I'll give Cutter some slack then, because that's probably true. God. Yeah. I, th I I'm gonna I'm gonna make a canon that Glenn had the hots for Lisa. I can see that. I mean, she does look like a robot, and she does I'm look like Hatsune like... Miku and. And Glenn probably yeah. wanted to fuck his computer. <laughs> yeah. That's what got him into trouble. He wanted to put oh, his what? hard drive into her CPU. Software. Into her software, yeah. <laughs> into her floppy... <laughs> he wanted to insert his floppy disk. <laughs> well, it's not gonna work through the floppy disk. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's you need probably, a, a hard problem. Disk. God he he would need to upgrade his. He would need to upgrade his firmware. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's why you watch us, guys, right? Oh God! Hey, yeah, we're we're, we're really more. we're really like all of the sex jokes this week. Just <laughs> started with the weenies. Now we're here. We just we just lost our minds. This started week. with mm -hmm. the weenies. Now we're here. <laughs> What's the matter? He was a top programmer. I would even say he was at least broke again. I would even say he was a genius. So he was really no trouble at all. A model in Hey, wait a minute. Just now you said something about him being in trouble. Got to find out what this trouble was exactly. I mean, it, it's... We got trouble right here. He was clearly in debt and trying to play the lottery because he had a gambling addiction, probably. Yeah. Uh, uh, I bet you have a new talk option. Oh, here we do. Hey. Um, about Mr. Elg. Was he in some kind of trouble? I'm sorry. Why would you think that? I thought you said something... I thought you said something about it just now. You said he got himself into trouble because he was a bit of a loser. 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 <laughs> uh, Cyclock? She's not a computer? <laughs> I guess Mr. Elg is like every other man with his own pot. Is like every other man with a, a miserable pile of secrets. This is definitely a reference to that, right? Yes. I guess Mr. L. I mean, what a is a man about pile of... not a miserable pile of secrets? That's incredible! I'm so happy they did this line. What the fuck? What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? And they go really all out with um with a lot of the reference uh, jokes. Right. Yeah. Okay. You don't belong in this world. It's so good. I mean, we could try it. <laughs> we might have yeah. some stuff. We know, I mean, I we mean, know, I we know imagine... a decent. We know a decent amount, a bit about this guy. You know, probably I can't imagine how much more information related. we have to go collect, since we still have to deal with Violetta's yeah. freaking spike block. Also, <laughs> nice blout fit, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so. How about you tell me what kind of trouble Mr. Elg was in? I'm sorry, sir, but we don't deal with troubleshooting here. That's fine. Perhaps you'd like to speak to someone in customer service. I don't know. What's she talking about? I guess I'd better just take a shot and see where it gets me. Miss Basil, let me ask you one thing. Did Mr. Elg's trouble have something to do with this? Um... Uh, probably the lottery tickets. That's what I would guess. Yeah, okay. What is that? A bunch of horse racing tickets. All losing ones. With that many tickets, you could get one dollar at the recycling center. You good people are very, very bad. Cashing in on others' misfortunes is immoral. You just called him a loser. 
<laughs> but I'm not cashing in on it. But that... <laughs> I will be when I write my book, Glenn Elg Was a Loser, in stores <laughs> now. I'd read it. Amazon uh, bestseller. <laughs> Why did I go to the sofa with some shit talking one of my coworkers? Why did I get a <laughs> whiff of hypocrisy just now? But what is the relevance of these tickets? The victim, Mr. Glenn Elg, he had a gambling habit, didn't he? I don't think that's a logical conclusion based on the facts. What? Everyone likes to go to the races from time to I'm time. S- there's 500 tickets, Lisa. Like, <laughs> it's like fucking a lot of tickets. Yeah, but not everyone buys this many tickets. Anyway, I don't believe that proves anything on its own. Do we have to show the other lottery ticket? You're right, but I'm not through yet. Mr. Yeah, we just show her one more lottery ticket. She's like, whoa, that's a lot of lottery tickets. (laughs) 500 lottery tickets? I can stand, but I draw the line at 501. I was going to say, we need the the meme of... uh, uh, Drake, but with her face over, and it's like 500 lottery tickets. Oh, yeah, 501. 501 <laughs> <laughs> the lottery, the lottery, horse racing. He bought a lot of tickets and lost a lot of times. That's gotta have hurt his wallet pretty bad, don't you think? Oh, she's sweating. Oh, maybe bad enough to be cut co- to be the cause of some pretty serious trouble, perhaps. No, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you are right. I did have a gambling habit. Okay, so you were just lying to me. You just lied to me. You damn. You good people must not follow his example. Do you understand? I gamble all the time. It's way for that. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I don't have the money to buy any. But if you win, there's no problem, is there? Glenn had a winning ticket, didn't he? For half a million dollars. Wait, how did you know about this ticket? <laughs> because I killed him for it. Error, <laughs> error. <laughs> yeah, but... Implementing, Processing. you got me again, protocol. <laughs> Processing, got me again, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Running, got me again, phoenix.exe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Running, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, final. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to imagine how he could have been in trouble then, isn't it? It's true that Mr. Elg won half a million dollars in the end. But that was his first stroke of good luck. He was in deep trouble before that. So he died, like, immediately after getting it. Yeah. Deep trouble? What do you mean? Mr. Elg's real problem was with someone or something more terrifying and ferocious. Uh, I'm assuming we present El Tigre? Mr. Tiger. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Furio Tigre, the boss of a loan office called Tender Lender. Tender Lender? People with businesses should think harder before naming their offices. Okay, well, like you're one okay, to talk. Blue screen. Okay, blue screen Zang. Yeah. I get a little too judgmental, okay? Well, what do you think? Our our firm is doing very well at the moment. I don't think we need to borrow money. No, no, no! I mean about Mr. Elg. You think Glenn had something to do with this Furio Tigre? Yes. I'm sorry. I don't know of any connection between the two of them. Really? Because I've got proof that Mr. Elg and the Tiger know each other. Uh, do we have his loan contract? Yeah, the... No, we have the the calendar. Oh, good point, good point. Uh, yeah. Good uh, point. also, Giant Penguin, uh, translated that line. In Japanese, they say, to access the data, I need a... Ba- ba- Lisa says, I need a password. Maya says, password. What's that? Phoenix. Phoenix, it's... Aikotoba... Explaining the word in Japanese to Maya. Maya, hmm? Mountain, she's guessing. If it's not mountain, then it must be the name of a river. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming the word password sounds like the word for mountain in Japanese? Oh, yeah, probably. Okay. It has to be something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. 
Furio Tigre, a.k.a. The Tiger, is the boss of the loan office called Tender Lender. A.k.a. Phoenix Wright. Yeah. A.k.a. Jin Ya. <laughs> this is who Mr. Elg met with on the day of his murder. And the only thing a loan shark would talk with him about would be his debt. Uh, 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 uh. It's true that Glenn had racked up quite a bit of debt from his gambling habit. About $100,000, I think. Damn, man. $100,000? Ouch. But I heard he won the lottery, so he should have been in the clear. He died 10 seconds yeah, after winning literally. the lottery, lady. How do, and also, how do you know this? Shame Maggie couldn't get a bit of, uh, shame Maggie couldn't get a bit of that good luck. Okay. So, the guy got lucky and won the lottery. But what if he hadn't won? What was his plan then? Well, this isn't easy to say, but... <laughs> See? It's a real tongue twister. <laughs> Said he would use his talents to repay the money. His... Oh, he was gonna have sex with your <laughs> God damn it, I was about to say that. <laughs> He was going to eat weenies? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect he was talking about programming. Oh, that makes much more sense. What computer program is worth $100,000? Perhaps you good people should leave so I can get back to my work. I'm so close to cracking her. The program in question, was it by any chance this? I'm assuming it's Oh yeah, the yeah. CD. it's his mixtape. Yeah. It was so it was so fire. This is fire. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not. This is a very delicate matter. Without the necessary data, there's really no way I can access the information. God damn it. I know Mr. Elg created some sort of program. She can't deny it if I show her the program itself as evidence. Well shit, I don't think we have it then. Program itself? Uh, yeah, I don't think we have it. Uh, yeah. Fuck. No, we don't. Yet. Well, that's beans. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Welp. Rough. 